हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू एपिटागर दम बॉक्स एंड दिस इज अक्षय डागा सो इन दिस वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू सबसेट वेक्टर्स लिस्ट लाइक एवरीथिंग हाउ टू सबसेट ऑल द बेसिक्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर सबसेटिंग इन आर प्रोग्रामिंग सो प्रीवियसली इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन डेटा टाइप्स लाइक वेक्टर्स लिस्ट लिस्ट मैट्रिक्स डेटा फ्रेम्स एक्सेट्रा सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सट्रैक्ट सम पर्टिकुलर एलिमेंट और रो और कॉलम और पर्टिकुलर any any sub part of that data type then how to do that we will talk about that in this video so it will be a basic one then we will go into the specific list matrix and each and everything in the next video so how to do that for subsetting we have three basic operators available in r programming the first one is square bracket the second one is double square bracket like uh, the square bracket inside the square bracket the third one is dollar symbol so these are the three three operators which you can use to get the subset okay so but all three are not exactly same there is little bit difference in all those three uh, operators the first let's begin with the first one square bracket so it will always return the object having the same class that of original that means i am if i am trying to get some subset from the vector using a square bracket single square bracket then the output will also be a vector for list the output will be list for matrix the output actually there is one uh, uh, exception for matrix the output will not be matrix but that we will see in our future video okay and one more key feature for single square bracket is you can extract multiple like more than one element using this syntax or this operator okay if we are talking about the another second operator that is double square bracket square bracket inside square bracket then it is used to extract element from list or data frame that is the first point for list and data frame we have to use double square bracket then it can be used to extract only single element you cannot extract multiple elements using double square bracket okay and the third point is Uh, the class of the return object will not necessary necessarily be a list or data frame like we use this uh, operator to extract element from list or data frame but the output will not be a list it is not necessary that output will always be a list or data frame okay unlike the single square bracket now the third operator is dollar it is used to extract element of the list and data frame by name okay how that we will see uh, afterwards and the cementing are similar to that of uh, double square bracket but still we cannot say that the double square bracket and dollar are exactly same there are some difference which we'll see uh, in future like in our next video or something so let's see how to uh, extract so we will begin with a vector let's create a vector character vector i'll i'll be creating so i am creating a vector x with ap daga that i'll print the x so this is my vector now if i want to extract one element okay so first element then i'll do x of square bracket 1 it will give me output as a 1 okay x of 4 it is a, or i'll say 5 so it is giving me output accordingly what if i want to extract first three element or so what i'll do i'll do i'll write it as a sequence 1 2 1 colon 3 so it will give me output as three elements ha huh. we can also check the class if i am i am assigning this value x of 1 2 3 and if i check the class of y it is character vector and class of x it is also character so this statement then always returns an object of same class as original it's true you can see that now similarly you can extract 2 to 5 right but what if you want uh, i'm printing x once again i want uh, a p and g that is first element second element three four, and fifth element okay so i can do that as well x of i'll pass the vector so first value second value and fifth value enter so i got first element second element and fifth element 
accordingly. So this, this is how you can extract a vector using single square bracket. Okay. Now uh, whatever we have done, we have extracted the elements from vector using their index. This 2, 5, this is 1, 2, 5, all these are index, right? Now there is another vector also that is uh, uh, subsetting, uh, logical subsetting, we can call it. So what we will do? Uh, we know the content of x that is a p d a g a so i want all the elements which are in the x which are greater than all the elements in x which are greater than character b right so alphabetically you can think that a is smaller than b then c will be greater than b like that so if you do it like that so you are getting output as p then d and g right all a are excluded so this is how you can do it. This is the logic, the logical subsetting. This is one method. There is one more method in logical subsetting that is this one. What is happening? You will see that you will create a logical vector first and you will extract the element from x using that logical vector. So again, I will be checking with all the elements in x which are greater than b. Okay, And I will assign that to a new variable that is u. Right. Now, if I print u, u is a logical vector, consists of two and false. Okay, class of u is logical. So, whichever element are greater than b are marked as true, true and true, and remaining which are whichever are less than or equal to b are marked as false. Now, if I do x of u, then again I'll get the same output as like this. So, these are the two different methods to extract logically that is lo using logical vector. So it is called as logical subsetting. In our next video we will talk about subsetting list then subsetting matrix matrices and everything. For this video that is it guys this is the basic about subsetting and what are the operators we use for doing the subsetting in R programming. If you like my explanation please click on the like button. If you have any kind of doubt you can put it into comment box. Uh, I'll try to answer it as soon as possible. And if you want to encourage me uh, for doing, keep doing this kind of videos, please click on the subscribe button. And if you want, you can suggest me topics on which you want to see more videos. So that's it, guys. And whatever I have explained right now, everything will be available in the written format, and the link to that will be given in the description. Please do check it out. And thanks, thanks, guys. This is Akshay Daga signing off.